Ravengers, one of the biggest, fastest, and strongest mobs in Minecraft. And even with full nether armor, they still do an insane amount of damage. But only one isn't enough. So today, I made an army of 100 Ravengers to get revenge on this Minecraft player. But why? Well, not too long ago, while I was just chilling at my base sorting my chest, Nathan decided it was a good idea to come ambush me. And when I wasn't paying attention, he attacked. Wait, hello? Hello, Carl? Oh, yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Bro. And because of this, I didn't only lose all my items in base, I also lost my head. Because on the Awaken SMP, when you die, you will drop your head and won't be able to respawn. And the only way to come back is for another player to revive you with the same or different head. And luckily, my teammates had an extra head to revive me back. But still, it became my mission to get a head back. So that's why I'm creating this army of Ravengers to hopefully kill him and get his head. But how am I going to do this? Because we all know the only way to get a Ravenger in Minecraft is to do a raid. But in order for me to get 100 Ravengers, I'm gonna have to do over 50 raids. Yeah, that's going to take forever. And if I don't want to waste 20 hours of my time gathering Ravengers, I needed to come up with a plan. And what's a better way than making someone else do it for me? So I decided I was going to force one of the new players on the server to do it for me. And the best thing about this, he can't say no. Oh, hey, Dylan. I have an offer for you, okay? Uh, what kind of offer? Do you want to hear it? Yeah. <gasps> you are going to help me get 100 Ravengers. How about that? Well, what if I, uh, what if I don't do it? Now that we have somebody helping us with the Ravengers, I quickly showed him what to do and gave him some name tags. And while Dylan starts working on getting the Ravengers, all I needed to do was to build a trap. But you're probably thinking that you can just easily outrun the Ravengers. But say hello to the Ravenger Trapper 2.0. It's a simple obsidian box that I'm gonna fill up with Ravengers. And once you fall in, you won't be able to get out. With the Ravengers pushing you in the corner, you won't be able to move. And if that wasn't already insane, I decided to give the Ravengers strength too. Oh my god. But before I actually build the trap on the server, I still needed to figure out a way how I'm gonna lure Nathan into the trap. I needed an item, maybe like a nether ingot or his pet dog. But that's when I got an idea. Nathan didn't have a pet dog, but what he did have was an axolotl. But in order for me to get it, I needed to sneak into his base. So after brewing a couple invis potions, I headed to his base. Wait, if I get seen, this whole thing would be ruined, so I have to be fast. <gasps> he's here, he's here, he's here. Alright, um, okay, so I know his axolotl is like right in that building. So if I can just get in there and get it and run out, I'll be perfect. There's no way you heard that. Oh my gosh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, did he see me? Oh my god. No! I don't have a shovel. I don't have a shovel. I'm dead. I'm dead. Please! No! I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out. No way. Oh. My. God. But after I thought I escaped and everything would be fine, Nathan was getting suspicious that it was me. And not only that, he told me to VC. So I needed to somehow convince him it wasn't me. Yo. You're, you're at my base. What are you doing? What are you saying? I'm not at your base. What, what do you mean? You took my uh, axolotl. You, you, you took it. Your axolotl? Why would I take it? Listen, if I find out it was you that took my... Axolotl, we're gonna have a problem, dude. It's gonna be worse than 10,000 TNT. Let's just say that. It's literally not me. I'm gonna find out whoever took my Axolotl. And even though the heist was successful, Nathan was soon gonna figure out it was me. And if he does before I finish this trap, everything would be ruined, so I have to be fast. And after finishing up the trap part, I went to go check on Dylan to see how many Ravengers he had got. But little did I know, he had ran away earlier that morning. And after realizing that he had ran away, I decided to not care and started transferring the Ravengers 
to the trap. And once I finished all of them, I was still short 13 Ravagers, so I quickly started doing raids again to get the final ones. But while doing so, little did I know, when Dylan ran away, he had told someone my cords and to come ambush me. And when I was in the middle of a raid, he attacked. Yo, 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 what the heck? Yo, what? Wait, who is this? Bro, oh my god. Oh my gosh, Swag, I knew it. And after realizing I was getting ambushed, I had no choice but to fight back. Because if he finds out about the trap, he would tell Nathan and this whole thing would be ruined. Bro, he's so powerful, he's so powerful. But after a while of trying to make him run away, I'd realize he had better gear than me and I wouldn't be able to win this fight. And if I didn't want to lose all my items and die, I needed a run. But after doing so, I would be taking the risk of him finding the trap. So after waiting for a couple hours for him to log off, I went back to see if he found the trap. And thankfully, he thought I was only doing raids for totems, but he was wrong. Oh my god. Yes. And after that close call, I quickly got the rest of the Ravagers and sealed them up. Finally, we got all of them. Oh my god. But now that we have all the Ravagers, you're probably wondering how am I going to make Nathan fall into the trap? Well, to make the trap not look suspicious, I decided to build this fake fish shop above it. And once Nathan's inside, I have a lever that will be able to make the floor fall, resulting in him falling down to the Ravagers. But before Nathan gets on, I needed to actually see if the trap would work. So I quickly got my innocent friend Lennox on who didn't know about the trap yet and decided to test it on him. This is my little fish shop over here. Ooh, it looks nice. So, uh, what do you want? Uh, can I have some cod, please? How much do you want? Three stacks, please. Wait, I only have two stacks. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Just because you're doing that? What if I give you a free axolotl? Oh, let's go. You can have that if you want. Uh... Uh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, let's just say he wasn't happy about that. But now that we know the trap works, I gave Lennox his stuff back and got everything back up and running. And after waiting for a couple hours, he finally logged on. He's on, he's on. So I quickly got my teammates on and got them into position. And now everything was ready. So I got Nathan's pet axolotl and DM'd him on Discord. Everything was falling into place. And after waiting for a couple minutes, he arrived. But for some reason, he wasn't alone. Oh, I see you. Wait, why is there two people? What's up? What's up? What's yo, up? Huh? Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. This is no, a are peaceful. You gonna... sh yo. Give, give, my, give, give my axle out of back. And after seeing that Nathan brought his teammate, I didn't know what to do because this trap was only meant for one person. And now I needed to somehow make them both fall into the trap. So I needed to wait for the perfect time to pull the lever. I, I have your axle out. Wait, wait, wait. You have to buy it. You know that, right? Why you would I want to buy it? Give it hey, back. Hey, 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 Give hey, it hey, back. Hey, hey. Nathan, Two. okay, okay, okay. But after trying to stall for a little while, Nathan's teammate just wouldn't stand on the platform. But if I stalled for too long, Nathan would soon get impatient and start attacking me. So I had to do it soon. So I started messaging my teammates to get the trap ready. And you would pay 20 diamonds, right? No, I'm not. Yeah, just do it. And after giving the Ravager strength, I couldn't wait any longer or the potion effects would run out. So it was now or never. 10 diamonds. 10 diamonds, yes. That's it. That's all you get. They're here. Fine. I drop it, you have to pay me though. Okay. Diamonds. We made Fine, the deal. I'll do that. Just because I'm a nice guy. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. My, my, audio, my audio is broken. My audio is broken. Uh, <laughs> Bro, my audio is really oh, broken. My god, oh my god, actually got Don't mind him out. Don't mind him out. No! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Oh my god! Dude, what is that, dude?